Welcome to Cheryl's Home Cooking. Today what I'm going to show you is one of my favorite recipes, so let's get started. Samoa Girl Scout cookie. So the ingredients that you'll need are two cups of flour, three-fourths of a teaspoon of salt, two sticks of butter at room temperature, a half a cup of confectionery sugar, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, three cups of shredded coconut, one and a third cups of the semi morsels melted, three tablespoons of butter, and a fourth of a teaspoon of salt. So let's get started. Beat two sticks of butter that you had at room temperature until nice and fluffy. Now I'll add in a half a cup of confectionery sugar. You'll mix this until it's well combined. Now that's just two sticks of butter and a half a cup of confectionery sugar to a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now I'll mix that. Now I'll add in my two cups of flour and three-fourths of a teaspoon of salt. I'll add that to the butter mixture. Mix it until it's well combined. I'll add a little at a time. I'll add the rest in. And mix this until it's well combined. I'll scrape the bottom and the sides of the bowl. That looks good. So now I'll turn my mixer off. Now you'll shape this dough into a ball, put it in plastic wrap, and place it in your fridge for one hour. So now that I have my dough in a ball, I put it in plastic wrap, I'll place it in my fridge for one hour. This is the shortbread cookie dough of the Girl Scout Samoa cookie. So into the fridge it goes. It's been an hour, so now I'll go take my dough out of the fridge. Looks nice and perfect. So now I'll flour my surface. I have my oven on 325. I also have a baking dish lined with parchment paper. Once I get my dough rolled out and into the round circle, like for a cookie, I'll bake it in my 325 degree oven for about 20 minutes. Or until you see the edges start to turn a nice light brown. So now I'll place the dough onto the floured surface. Roll it out. And this is the shortbread of the Samoa cookie. So I just want to roll it out and then I'll take like a bowl and cut around it to make a circle. You want to keep it 
about a fourth of an inch thick. So now I have a bowl that'll fit on the dough. I'll get a knife and cut around the bowl. Now to make the circle, that's about centered. I'll take that out. Now I'll try to pick this up and put it on my parchment paper without distorting it too much. damage. So now I'll place this in my 325 degree oven for about 20 minutes or until the edges start to turn a nice light golden brown. So into the oven it goes. My dough's in my oven. It's been in there for about three minutes. So I'm going to take it out now and just prick the dough. So I'll just take a fork and now I'll place it back in. My dough is back in my 325 degree oven. Now I'll wait for it to turn a nice light golden brown around the edges. It'll be about 20 minutes. My cookie is done, so I'll place this off to the side to cool completely before I put the rest of the ingredients on top of my cookie. So now that my cookie is off to the side cooling, I still have my oven on 325. I want to toast this coconut, so it's about three cups of coconut. There's one. two, three. So I'll just spread the coconut so it's a nice even layer. And just put it in your oven for about 10 minutes or less. Just enough to brown the coconut. So into the oven it goes. So now I need one and a third cups of melted morsels. There's one. And a third. I'll place this in my microwave to melt. Now I'll go check on my morsels in the microwave. Couple more minutes. So I have 15 caramels that I'll place in my pot. These are the caramels I picked up. To my caramels, I'll add in three tablespoons of milk. One, two, three, and about a fourth of a teaspoon of salt, so I'll just eyeball it. That's good. Now I'll place this on my stove on medium-low.
my morsels are done in the microwave, so now I'll take them out of the microwave. Now my cookie is completely cooled, so I'll flip it upside down. I want to place some of the chocolate on the underside of it. Then I'll place it in the freezer for a couple minutes to get hard. Just mix that. Alright, I'll place some on and spread it. I'm covering the whole bottom of this cookie. Now I have a paper plate. I'll gently pick it up, place it on the paper plate. I'll place it in my freezer. Now you want to melt these caramels into the milk. So let me just rinse my hands real quick and I'll come back and mix that. I'll check on my coconut. It's getting there. So just keep melting the caramels into your milk because you don't want them to burn in your pot. The caramels are melting beautifully in here. So you can see how the caramel is melting into the milk. And you just want to keep stirring. I'll drizzle the rest of that melted chocolate on top of the cookie. If it gets hard while you're waiting for the caramels to wait, you can just put it back in your microwave to melt it again. Almost there. Let's see, just a couple more here. That's perfect. I'll turn my burner off. Doesn't that look good? Now I'll leave it off to the side. I'll check on my coconut. Looks good. I'll just mix it around. Oh yeah. That looks real good. So I'm just mixing the coconut around. I'll leave this off to the side. So now I'm going to take my toasted coconut, place it in my bowl. I'll move the baking dish. I'll get my caramels and mix them into the coconut. spoon, mix the sides and the bottom. So 
so that this coconut is all covered into the caramel. Oh yeah, that looks real good. I could eat this just like this. So now I'll place this off to the side, get rid of my pot. So now I'll get my cookie out of the freezer. It's nice and firm. I can pick it up. I'll put it on my plate. I'll take this coconut mixture with the caramel, place it on top. Spread it around. That looks real good. Now I'll go wash my hands. I'm going to place my morsels back into the microwave just to melt a little bit more so I can drizzle the chocolate on top. So about 30 seconds. My microwave just went off. So I'll take the chocolate back out. Take a spoon, just drizzle it on top. This is going to be one good cookie. <laughs> A little more over there. Now doesn't that look good? So now I'll place this back in my fridge for the top of the chocolate to harden. Then I'll be taking it over to a friend's house because it's their son's birthday and that's what he wanted, a Samoa cookie. So he's got it. Well, thanks so much for tuning in to another episode of Cheryl's Home Cooking. I'll see you guys next video. Bye-bye. Well, thanks so much for tuning in to another episode of Cheryl's Home Cooking. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next video. Bye bye.